Gifts are an element of the machine elf contact that repeatedly appears in our conversations. They told me that they don't really interfere in our human reality, but you should know that this one issue is something that the energy and the entities use to impact some of the events in our lives. We don't understand the gift system. It is not really complicated, but the mechanism of it is completely misunderstood by humans and that's why we just call it luck, which in our understanding is just some random outcome detached from the result of our actions. Mushrooms made me realize how much we get from life and they helped me to change my attitude towards everything. I wish everyone could have contact with the entities because this one thing has made such a significant difference for me that I can't imagine my life without it. This information could let you reconcile with a parent, save your marriage or help you better raise your children. This one gratitude related issue could change your life forever. I will explain it in two parts, but first I would want to ask you to join Patreon or Subscribestar or make a PayPal or cryptocurrency donation to help me in building the 434 structure. You don't need a PayPal account to send money through it and joining Patreon or Subscribestar is very easy if you've never done it before. All links are in the video description. I really appreciate all your help and generosity and I want to thank everyone who decided to contribute. In one of my early contacts at the beginning of my interdimensional journeys, I was visited by a very special machine elf. She introduced herself as the queen of the insect world and she looked like a bionic bee. She told me that she is responsible for psychedelics appearing in my life. She showed me a sequence of events, one after another, that led to me taking ayahuasca and then mushrooms for the first time. She showed me a scene from spring of 2015 where I'm sitting in my office watching Joe Rogan's podcast with Amber Lyon and deciding that this was the moment I had to try psychedelics. It was also the Queen's intervention for me to find Talking Monkeys in Space, the first Joe Rogan stand-up special from 2009 that led me years later to his podcasts. The most beautiful element of this story is that this gift was actually her way of saying thank you in return for everything I've done for insects throughout my life. I have this habit of saving all bugs and animals. I don't kill anything because I've always known intuitively, what was later confirmed by the entities, that every life is precious and that every organism has consciousness. We'll talk about this soon. Whenever I see a drowning mosquito or a ladybug stuck in a spider web, I get them out. I take spiders outside in a glass and I let wasps sit on my cake when I'm in the garden. I've always respected every living organism and in that contact she uploaded to my consciousness all the scenes from my life as I'm saving these insects including some moments from my childhood which I didn't even remember. She said that for all I have done for the inhabitants of her dimension she created events in this reality that gave me access to this wonderful divine communicator. I always get choked up when I think or talk about this. It is probably one of my most beautiful and memorable experiences in the metaphysical realm. I never paid attention to those moments when I was saving these little insects, I just didn't want them to suffer. Her gift allowed me to change my life. In fact, with everything that I received, thanks to her, it feels like I was allowed to experience the sensational and emotional wealth of two lives here. Can you imagine that you take a piece of toilet paper to save a tiny moth from your bathtub and in return, many many years later, an interdimensional deity gives you the key to a life you always dreamed of? I consider myself incredibly lucky and I'll be grateful for this forever. Not a day goes by that I don't think about her and what she has done for me. I wish I get to meet her again one day. Here's a very important message to you from the queen of the insect world with some additional machine elf messages. This world is controlled by the entities from other dimensions and the only currency of this reality is goodness. When you do good, you get better tools to get more good things in this life. Those things and these tools allow you to do more good. It's the only thing that actually matters here. This all here is a game and everything you do is being transmitted to other dimensions and it's being evaluated by aliens. And when they feel it is good, they give you more gifts. I actually saw how the information about our actions is flowing through another dimension and how the entities gathered around this stream of data decide if you should be given access to more mental and physical tools in this reality. It is as if our lives were constantly being evaluated by a machine of cancel on earthly rewards and life upgrades. Here's another important message. Everything good that you do actually matters. Maybe not in this dimension, but once you leave it, you will see how much it means. Everything you do is being evaluated and appreciated. You're being paid and rewarded in knowledge and good elements of your life for everything good that you do. 
being a good person actually matters once you leave this realm and everyone can see it over there. Here it doesn't matter that much. Your deed record is transparent and everyone around you in those dimensions can see it. Good things in your life happen to remind you how important it is to be close to your natural self so that you can make an effort and work hard. Let me explain how I received that message. This was when I was visiting my dimension of origin. I've mentioned that in previous videos, but I believe I was taken there so that I can understand the power of being a good person. This diamond you're looking at on your screen now, that's me. The blue shining mist inside of it represents every good thing that I have done in my life. It filled half of my form and I saw that the other half is still empty, which meant that there is still a lot I need to do here. My good deed energy inside was very bright and I sensed from other diamond forms gathered around me that there was something very impressive about this bright blue mist and I was informed that what I have collected inside is very important and very valuable in the dimension I came from. I was told it will play an important role once I return there. But I believe we all have this similar form and we all earn the inner dimensional currency of love and goodness that fills our energy form wherever we came from. I really want you to remember that what you do here and how you act has transcendental and inner dimensional consequences. The more good you do, the more gifts you receive. Love, 434. I decided to divide this video into two parts because once I collected all the messages it turned out again it will be too long. The second part will be about life deals or what we humans call luck. I hope you enjoyed these stories and messages and if you did please consider supporting me through the methods I mentioned earlier. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment and share this video with others. Remember about b434.com. Join all 434 social media and join my second YouTube channel. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the notification bell. Visit the websites of the artists and the musician I used in this video.